Residents of Homer Bay County will have to wait a bit longer before knowing who will fly the ODM flag in the February 12th senatorial by-elections. According to ODM's communication officer, Philip Pitale, the direct nomination exercise that was to be done today has been pushed forward after the National Executive Committee and the National Elections Board asked for more time to finalize consultations before naming the flag bearer. At least seven candidates are eyeing the ODM ticket in order to vie for the seat that fell vacant following the demise of Otieno Kajuang on the 18th of November. Party primaries in Homa Bay last Monday aborted after chaos and violence erupted. Thereafter, the party decided it will directly appoint a flag bearer even after the High Court extended the December 19th nomination deadline that had been set by the IEBC. The electoral body also pushed forward the by-elections from the 2nd to 12th of February 2015. While it is expected that the successful candidate will be the one who has been loyal to ODM, reports indicate that a secret survey commissioned to gauge the popularity of candidates eyeing the Homer Bay senatorial seat will also be used to decide the contender. ODM's top organs will also consider integrity of the aspirants and their personal contributions to the party financially, materially and intellectually. The 2013 informal power sharing agreement that spared the Senate seat to the Subambita area, the governor's seat to Rachonyo, and the woman representative seat to Rangwe Homa Bay Town will also be a major factor in determining the suitable candidate. Philip Okundi, Karoli Omondi, Silas Jakakimba, Fred Rabongo, Dr. Kenneth Kambona, George Mboya, and Moses Kajuang are contesting for the ODM ticket. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff. Audit.